guys. Welcome to another vlog. Alright, uh, so I've managed to bolt up the other side. It's uh, it's pretty much even, as you can see. Even Steven. Uh, I managed to lift it up and bolt it down to this pipe here and left this open here. Obviously I'll have to um, weld a piece in there if I'm spring. But uh, it doesn't affect the uh, strength of it any. It's just for looks, basically. So... Yeah, that's not a big deal. Anyway, unless you saw the other video, the cases are in. Uh, they're not much bigger than the one I was using as a um, for testing. A little bit bigger, but not by much. As you can see, this is pretty much what it will look like. Like that. It's not huge. I'm not going to be hitting my ankles on it or anything like that. Uh, like I said, it's nice that it's got double latched, so if it does, for whatever reason, come loose, it's not going to spill everything out. Uh, I'll be able to put the cells in there lengthwise, which will give me about 48 volts plus another, I don't know, 48 volts on this side for 80 volts. I don't think I'm going to go to 90, but um, anyway, uh, I went and redid the side there for the... Um, brake caliper and a swing arm there that uh, will keep it from twisting uh, I didn't I'm sick of putting holes in the uh, frame so what I did is I used to clamp with a piece of rubber and I'll just paint it black it's not going to move the fender is aluminum I'm going to eventually paint that black and um, drill a hole here and bring it closer to the frame this way it leaves a gap uh, the way the water sprays off the tire anyway, it doesn't spray off the sides, it sprays in, some, in the center because of gravity. So this this fender would be fine. And it's free. It comes with all the hardware, it's all aluminum. Um, just maybe have to straighten it out a bit. Not a big deal. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm going to get into uh, some wiring. Uh, I need a decent breaker. Uh, last year I didn't really have one, I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. But uh, what I'm going to do with this box here, I actually tried wrapping this in um, this this material here, but uh, it didn't work out so well because of the bends on it. I'm going to try again anyway. Uh, I'm going to cut these, I can't put it in standing up because it's too tall, but it will go in this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a notch out here and glue that in so just to the... Um, the reset switches sticking out the side that should be good enough um, the main wires for the battery go into that box the two wires coming off of each battery come our battery box go into this box and um, this is basically just for distribution I'll put a nice uh, power bar or um, bus bar in there of, out of copper that I can bolt all these up to um, then I'll have another line going out from there to the rectifier or the regulator. So it's it's coming along. Um, once I get these done, I have to figure out where I'm going to put the wires coming out of them and what type of connectors I'm going to use. But uh, that kind of worked out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this this seller again because you know they're cheap, sixty bucks a piece, and they're a legitimate size. Like I'm kind of blown away that they they actually have a rubber handle on it. But uh, as you can see, it will fit nice. There's the hardware for the uh, actual the clamps on there, and, uh, and it'll go on there pretty good. I can put it higher or lower if I want. This part here, I just basically glued in for now, just for like uh, checking out. Uh, this makes up the distance so it's not uh, teetered in. As you can see, it's pretty much flush. Um, eventually, this will be taken off and this will be a chunk of rubber. Just so this has something to bang against, basically. Uh, if it still flies around quite a bit, I'll make a hook that'll come down and, and hook onto this. But I don't think it's going to be a major issue. If I stick to decent roads, I avoid potholes. <laughs> uh, but uh, that turned out pretty good. The whole design there. The foot clearance is amazing. Which I'll actually see if I can show you. 
most of the time I don't uh, I go I don't go right on the end of my foot like that. Uh, most of the time it's right there, and as you can see, it's it clears it, so it's not an issue. And uh, I don't pedal a hell of a lot anyway. <laughs> it's an e-bike, <laughs> but uh, I figured I'd give you an update on that. Um, off camera, um, um, maybe I'll do it on camera. I'll, I'll wear the camera around. I'm gonna drill holes in it and um, add the clips and hang it on the bike. See what it look like. Man, I do love it when a plan comes together. Those look so good. And they got the handle, the unlock. You can just pull them right off. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Like I said, I will beef up the bottom. That way it's uh, got more support. And it's not swinging back and forth like that. Because you don't want that. It'll damage the, um, the holders. But uh, I love it. It's going to give me a lot of room for batteries. I just can't complain anymore that I don't have enough battery room. And uh, it's not super wide. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not, not that bad. It's no different if I was using bags. So I can handle that. It's no wide, It's a little bit wider than the pedals. That's about it. As you can see, there's still lots of room there. Love it. Um, I ended up using a bunch of these. I had to find some bolts. Uh, you flat side in, obviously, because if you got batteries in there, you don't want them banging against that. I'll probably put some uh, hard um, <laughs> uh, hot glue or something around the nuts on um, smooth mode of it, and then I'll put some uh, Tapcon tape over it so if, if anything does dig through, it won't short the battery. But uh, this will work. Now I can focus my attention on. Uh, Finishing my batteries. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I need 16, and then you know I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest. This pack here, I might have to rebuild that to fit in there, or that whole thing might fit in there. I don't know. Let's see. I still got to take the inside out up oh, right here, but I'm going to leave it for now because I I'm not really building a pack right now, so. But, will this fit in here? Oh my god. Did not make this any more easier, could you? Look at that. Still got another room for another pack here if I want. Uh, as it stands, the other one will be 48 volts, which is 52, plus this one will make it 79, 76. Um, I might bump it up to 80, but I'm not going to go further than 80. Uh, it's just added weight and... Uh, the motor really can't handle 90 volts anyway, I don't think. It'll produce a lot of heat, that's about it. Even with the extra cooling. There is a limit, even with a 48 volt motor. And uh, actually, 76 volts nominal is pretty good. Uh, this bike flies around pretty good at that speed. So, yeah. Finally, it's done. It turned out. Kind of blown away. Still blown away how cheap these are at 65 bucks a piece. But, um... Like, I'm, I'm, I might even actually buy a couple more. I got some camera gear I want to put in them. I'm going to save the foam. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pluck it out from my camera, some, some of the bodies. And then um, I'm actually going to buy a couple more. Strictly for my gear. Because right now all my camera gear is in um, soft bags. And uh, this stuff, you know, for the 65 bucks it can get banged up pretty good and protect my cameras. But anyway, um, yeah. Check that out. That is cool. That's what, you, that's what we call low profile. And uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to go for a ride and clip something and sticking out so far. It's, it doesn't work that way on a, on a this type of bike. Pretty cool though. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'll probably do another B log once I get some more cells in and we'll uh, start building these up. And uh, do some more wiring. Oh, the wiring part. I've already shared with you what I'm doing with this box. I'm going to try and uh, wrap it again with the Kevlar crap. But uh, it didn't work so well over here. Um, have to repaint it. That will go here. I'm not too sure if I want to drill holes into this and then bolt it down. Or if I want to Velcro it down like that. Like I said, it's just going to have a terminal in here that holds the wire in there. And, uh, and then bridges out to, the, to each pack. We'll see how it goes. But uh, it's starting to look pretty cool now. See you in the next one, guys.
How cool is that? <laughs> Sweet.